Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shop the Show. Again, we are in Bedford View, this time visiting a mansion that is 10,450,000 rand, boasts four rooms, four and a half bathrooms and a six car garage. I'm standing in the entryway of this incredible farm style manor. We're going to be taking a look. My name is Chad, this is Home Shop the Show. Welcome home. Every moment walking around this mansion, it is an incredible moment, a moment of experience because no expense was spared and you can see that through the finishes essentially everywhere. Just above me in this walkway, we've got this stunning outdoor chandelier, beautifully sealed flagstones. Just pave the way all the way up this wraparound outside balcony, or should I say veranda. This bit being covered, you can see space for a pool table, but this pool table rests on another small design detail that I think is incredible, and that's that mosaic floor. All of the bedrooms have access to this outdoor veranda. It feels like there's a lot of indoor, outdoor living here, but all of it is sealed off to the elements, which I really like. You can see just how much the dogs at least enjoy this outdoor area. Dining room table there, that's how spacious this veranda is. Coming back off into the sunshine, let's Let's talk about this garden. Spacious front garden built in trampoline. You've also got a jacuzzi, massive pool, and right over there is that six car garage passing back underneath the chandelier. We've got another sunspot here, two lounges, beautiful little area to just sit back and take in how incredibly well designed this house has been. But when we're talking about design, let's head off down these stairs. We find ourselves in another enclosed area, this time with string lights built in, illuminating this incredibly large outdoor dining room table. You're placed right here by your pool. You can really enjoy the outdoors. Then you've got another chandelier being the feature of this outdoor area. But now it's time to head indoors and we're going to start right off in the corner of the house. We've swapped flagstones to these beautiful checkered tile flooring. So here it is, the bar area. So a couple of key features here is obviously you've got this inbuilt bar, beautiful wood. Now the wood theme continues throughout the house. Got these dangling chandeliers and this time made out of buckets, really giving that feel of a vintage bar. All of the games in here, obviously a really cool design element. You can design this bar however you'd like. It's got that much space and it's got such tall ceilings that it really does feel like a spacious area. Then we come to this fireplace. You'll see more of these throughout the house. A slab of reclaimed wood matching these pieces of exposed concrete. And last but not least, when we talk about things you're going to see throughout the house, is this ceiling right over here. It's got this latticed farm style ceiling. But what makes it different is in each and every single one of the 45 degree latticings you've got inbuilt lighting so you can imagine how incredible that looks at night and then when you're done looking at the ceiling you've got this stunning privacy shades right here that you can pull across and seal your bar area away from your living area and that's where we are right now one of the many living areas you can find in this home massive tv screen behind me don't let that distract you from the design in this house the flooring is top-notch quality oggy wood floors. You can see the quality of the wood and the grain. This isn't some stick-on wood flooring. This is really incredible flooring. Two chandeliers, you've got that latticework ceiling with all that inbuilt lighting. And then on the left-hand side, these double-paned windows, beautiful for insulation, opening outwards onto your back garden. Then wrapping around this way, you'll see this spacious living area gives way to your dining room area. And right in the middle, as I did promise, is two more, a central stack of those fireplaces. I love how they've designed the exposed concrete, the reclaimed block of wood. And if we travel across this way, you will see its twin sitting right over there. Central chandelier, beautiful indoor dining room table right next to one of the most incredible kitchens I think I've ever seen. Now let's pan dramatically over to this kitchen. The oggy wood floors give way to these tiled mosaic floors where the towel really does match the color of the cupboards. A central island of ginormous proportions with a farm style kitchen sunk right in the center there. Take a look at this. Three chandeliers, another piece of reclaimed wood hanging from those rafters. Under counter storage, obviously there's so much to talk about in this kitchen. So let's run through it quickly. All of the storage space right over here. Another piece of stunning wood forming your countertop which breaks away from this more formal piece of uh, marble right over here. Then, you know, to, to bring a bit of style and a bit of warmth to it, we've got this exposed brick, space for a double fridge, storage above it, and then we come to where the magic happens, where you're gonna be cooking up these meals, and front and center, we have this right here, a vintage smeg oven, 
Really one of the most incredible ovens we've ever showcased on the Home Shopper Show. Take a look at this. Really how incredible above it. Another Smeg extractor fan. You've got your built-in lighting, space for your microwaves. Plug points are plenty. So if you are really into appliances in your kitchen, you know that that's taken care of. But you might ask me, Chad, we've seen so much here. We've seen those stunning double doors leading out to an outside coffee area. Where do I keep my other appliances? Where's my washing machine? Where's my tumble dryer? Well, that would be behind me. This is your scullery area. Let's take a look at that. And then we're gonna come back out here, walk around this corner and see what the rest of this house has to offer. Let's go. Taking a step up onto the second unfolding of those beautiful mosaic tiles you find yourself in your scullery, to your left immediately is a closable dry goods area or storage area for all of your groceries. You've got space for many under counter appliances. You've got a double sink for any washing up that you might do. You also have access to your back garden as well as your space for the domestics if you do want to utilize it as that. Also one last thing that I can't fail to admit or at least point out is just all the storage that you'll find in the scullery area and how well thought out it's been designed. Now with the scullery out the way, let's talk about a couple of other key features in the home. Obviously you've got so many accesses to that outdoor veranda, really, really nice. We've got the seating area right here, taking advantage of the little bit of space, but again, not making the house feel crowded. Then through another stack of stackable privacy shades, you find yourself in this office area. Now again, beautifully equipped, built-in shelving storage space that would design that continues throughout the house. This time the lighting comes from built-in down lighting. Again, another pair of those opening doors that lead out onto the veranda. I don't know how much work you're gonna be able to do with that pool table sitting right over there, but if you don't wanna do any work, you can come right here. This is the pajama lounge because this is the wing of the house that leads off onto all of those bedrooms, four bedrooms. But to start off, we gotta talk about the half bathroom, which is right over here. Half bathroom is perfectly equipped for what it is, a guest bathroom with toilet, sink, under counter storage, lots of space to make that bathroom feel spacious because it's gonna be used if you're in this area. This here is the pajama lounge. Down lighting, plenty of space for you to design it with how you'd like. Windows letting in a lot of natural light as well, including through those double doors over there. And we can see some built-in cupboard space or at least a built-in TV stand right over here. This stunning wood flooring continues all the way across because what you're gonna see here, I'm gonna ask my cameraman to turn around or just go all the way back. You'll see just how long this hallway is and this wood flooring runs the length of it. Now I'm walking and you can see how it just carries on and carries on and carries on. It's an incredible spectacle to behold and it really shows you the length of this house and how incredibly designed it is. Off to my right is the first bedroom followed by the second, third and then the fourth being the master. So let's start off over here and let's see what these bedrooms look like. Now the first bedroom you walk into might be the smallest that this house has to offer, but that doesn't stop it from being incredibly equipped. Off to your left hand side, you'll see some stunning built-in cupboards. And then you've also got a window looking outwards onto your garden, the pool area, as well as the veranda. This bedroom has a lot of space as well as down lighting. So if this is a work area or if you'd like it to be another office, it fits that perfectly. Now we need to talk about the ensuite bathroom. You've got a single vanity toilet tucked away neatly in the corner and then a walk-in shower that has an incredibly beautiful mosaic tile flooring. First bedroom done and dusted that leaves us with the second and third before we come to the master suite that creme de la creme and here we are in the second bedroom you can see the beauty of these bedrooms just get more as we walk a little bit further on and plumb the depths of this house this time we've got this incredible feature wall that actually looks like corrugated gold however it is flat and rather eye-catching above me again all that lighting off to the left your built-in cupboards again all of them finished stunning in hardwood love that has been done this wood flooring matches the veranda tiles that these two doors open outwards onto so every single one of these bedrooms does have access to your veranda and then off to my left and you've got every single bedroom in this home with its own ensuite bathroom this one has been designed purposely for the owner of this bedroom you've got your beautiful blue cupboardry and a blue flanking on your mirror your single vanity toilet and then walk-in shower once again with that incredible mosaic tile finish now the third and final bedroom before we come to the master suite is almost the twin of the one we just looked at. Again, plenty of space, 
built-in cupboards, beautifully designed lighting. Both of these bedrooms are serviced by an aircon. We've got those double doors, double paned glass opening outwards onto your veranda. And then again, you've got your ensuite bathroom sliding barn door opening up onto your single vanity toilet and walk-in shower. Really do like how well equipped all of these bedrooms have come in. And now the time has come, the master suite, the creme de la creme, and walking into this room, you are greeted with not only the scope and size of this room, but this massive mantle that surrounds this fireplace. I love a bedroom with a fireplace in it, and I don't think you get fireplaces more grand than this one right here. It's flanked by two windows, letting in a lot of natural light, and on the opposite end of this bedroom, again, you've got those sliding doors opening out onto that veranda with even more natural light. The space in the room, I think, without question, speaks for itself lighting running the length just off to my left here is your bathroom we're going to get back to that but over here you can see there's space for you to put a lounge suite a table space for you to enjoy a book relax take a look at the incredible grounds that these windows open up to but when it's time to get up when it's time to go to a meeting where you're going to be going is right through this pocket door which leads on to your walk-in closet i love a house with a walk-in closet and no closets come finer than this one right here with three of the four walls being flanked with cupboard space so you know no matter how many Birkin bags you might buy you're always going to have a slot for them but it is now time to talk about that master bathroom en suite of course and located right over here walking into this bathroom once again you're greeted with just the sense of space in this bathroom stunning mosaic tiles run the length of it on my left hand side we can close this door for some privacy on the toilet we've got double vanities with double mirrors and plenty of undercarter storage then we've got this right over here a free standing bathtub i love how the paintwork matches the tiles we've got space for this ottoman right in the center so if you'd like to relax while getting dressed you know that you can and then right over here we come to this walk-in shower stunningly clad with these new york subway tiles two not one, but two waterfall shower heads. So if you're getting ready, you know that this is the place you want to get ready in. I love how this bathroom is equipped. But now it's time to talk about how you could possibly become the next owner of this incredible home. Let's go outside, straight to that pool, and let's talk about who you need to speak to and how much it costs. And here we are outside, standing just above the jacuzzi, and let's talk about the price point of this home. Four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. It comes fully solar equipped, solar panels on the roof, got a backup generator, so it is pretty much off the grid. And it comes with all those incredible features we've spoken about during the tour of this home. So it is a catch at 10,450,000. And if you'd like to be the owner of this home, what I'd like you to do is contact the estate agency, Pompa Real Estate. Michael Pompa is a guy you need to speak to to schedule a viewing and possibly claim this house as your own. But that does wrap up this episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Thank you so much for tuning in every Monday and Friday where we air another one of South Africa's most exclusive, most expensive, or just most incredible looking homes. And we'll see you again soon. Thank you so much. And to everybody who makes these shows possible, I have to say thank you for making us have the opportunity of seeing homes like this. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. My name is Chad, Home Shopper Show. Goodbye.